Hello Rebels and welcome back to my life. So while this YouTube channel was almost completely dark for more than a month, what's been going on? A lot of stuff actually, and I'm going to attempt to tell you about all of it in less than four minutes, although only time will tell if I succeed or fail, although hopefully that time will be just around four minutes. First of all, you might have heard on this very channel that a new book has come out, link in the description. Obviously, I've been working very hard on that, and I have to say, I think I did an okay job. I'm pretty happy with this book, I'm happy with the characters, I'm happy with the plot, and I'm really happy with my writing, happier than I have been in a very long time. Time. Part of the reason for that is that this is the first book where I've been able to work with my dream editor, Karen Conlon. She is, she is just great. I'm very, very happy with her. Oh yeah, that's another thing that happened recently. I got a new editor, and that's awesome, because I have attention on all of my earlier books. I, I know that I need to go through them and correct some errors that are there, as well as some changes in voice and stuff like that, but this new book, I feel like it's 100% airtight. I don't have to go back and correct it. Maybe ever. Q hundreds of readers from emails telling me that they found a typo in the book. But they did it. I also have a new cover artist who hand illustrates all of the covers and his work is just, oh, it's so good. I'm so happy with it, you guys. He has done two new covers and a third new cover is on the way and he will also be going back and redoing all of the existing Underarm covers so that they will all be hand-drawn illustrations, which me as a fantasy reader, in addition to being a fantasy author, that's very important to me because that's what we expect. I really should not be showing you his work because I am an independent author and I'm therefore responsible for all of my own marketing and covers should only be shown as part of a cover reveal, a marketing tactic designed to make you want to buy the book. But his stuff is so good, I literally cannot restrain myself from showing it to you in this video. So you have to promise me that when it comes out, you're gonna buy it anyway, okay? Okay. Here it is. That is Bloodlust. It is the first book in the third Underrealm series, Tales of the Wanderer, which will be coming out later this year. And it is just, I mean, look at that cover. It's just so, mmm. <sighs> it is my favorite Underrealm cover so far, and the second one is just as good, but since I don't have a physical copy of the second one in my hands already, I, I am able to restrain myself from showing it to you. <laughs> Other than that, a big problem that I've been trying to solve recently is my own productivity, and I, I, I am not happy with where it is at. Now some of you are already jumping into the comments to tell me that I'm very productive, that I write and publish a lot, and, and thank you, but I, I'm legitimately not fishing for compliments here. Because I don't compare my productivity to other people, and neither should you. You should not compare your productivity to other people any more than you should compare your writing quality to other people. The only thing I'm interested in is my productivity now compared to my productivity yesterday and what my productivity is going to be tomorrow. I don't, you, I don't care about anybody else's benchmark, I only compare myself to myself. And like in that context, a new book coming out yesterday is great, but that should have come out in February or March. There's no reason that it couldn't have. I could have made that happen and, and, and I did not. And I've got somebody who's helping me stay productive now and she knows who she is. I don't know if she wants me to say her name on this channel, but Megan is now also pitching in too, but I need to, I need to keep that up and, and keep being productive as, as much as I can be, especially now that I'm running a solo business and, you know, like, kind of have to take care of everything myself. And if I don't, then my family doesn't get to eat. So that's fun. And along that line, and in trying to find a solution, I recently reread Stephen Pressfield's The War of Art, which is just, it's just a great book. I recommend anybody read this book if you're trying to, you know, overcome your own, like, inner resistance to being productive. If you're a procrastinator, if you want to write a book but you can't seem to put your button in the chair every single day, read The War of Art. It is, incidentally, the reason that I've been more productive in recent days and why you've seen YouTube channels for, like, several days in a row now, so you're welcome from Stephen Pressfield. And that's what's been going on, Rebels. Tomorrow we're gonna take a look at what's going to be going on in the future as I attempt to build legacy books into an actual thing. And surprise, surprise, I made this video in under four minutes, so thank you so much for watching it, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!